Welcome to Bachelor Party. I don't even know what to call it. today's episode. A bonus, a special. It's like so beyond both of those. A lifetime delight. I'm joined by Mallory <laughs> Rubin and the one and only Tyler Cameron. Hi. Tyler. I'm with my girls. Oh, when you say that, it makes us a little too excited. So oh you have to God. mean it. Are we I actually- do mean it. You guys are my girls, you know, through Incredible. and through. Is it awkward to be around both of us at the same time? You and I have met a few times. Yeah. You've seen me at my highs and my lows. Mallory makes me a little nervous. <laughs> This is a first for Just me. Just bringing that sexual energy. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh my God. This is, uh, you know, as I said to both of you off mic mere moments ago, I'm surprised but delighted that I'm not as mortified as I thought I would be meeting you in person for the first time. I, Feels right. I'm not Feels mortified natural. at all. I wasn't, the first time we met, I'm not sure if you were aware, I was incredibly hungover and could not eat. I, when? The, when we had lunch with Nick. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was so, so hungover. You, you, held, you held it together. Thank I, you. I'm impressed. I mean, I was hungover this morning, and I had to do, like, the daily pop, and I was like, oh, this is not going to come out good. <laughs> well, I was trying really hard to seem normal. I didn't know how much you knew about how much Mallory and I were fans of yours. <laughs> I just also, it was a really weird day because you and Nick were both having these burgers, and I was like, I couldn't eat. I could only drink, like, clear liquids, essentially, mm-hmm. and I was miserable but also just really excited that we were having lunch. So it was a really awkward time. So now you know. And now our bond has just grown. I mean, we had our walk on, on our, our Upper beautiful West walk. Park. You yeah, know? It, was it was beautiful. beautiful. I thought you were going to reach out to hold my I hand. I did too. Oh, here, here. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my God, this is incredible. <laughs> um, it's also completely unplanned. We just like came together last minute. So yeah, there's we, not really a we're roadmap. We're basically just hanging out. We're this isn't even a podcast. This is the hangout. Exactly. This is yeah. the, this is a bachelor party hang. Yeah. A hang so chat with friends. Exactly. Um, on that note, Tyler, are you here in LA? What have you been doing out here this week? Uh, I've been out here just doing... You know, taking tons of meetings. Cool. Uh, yeah. So super excited. Got some cool things in the works, hopefully. And uh, just, it's been fun. Just get out here, get around some friends too. And, you know, it's been a good time. What's the energy like out here for you versus in New York? Like, in your, like I just, you were early for a meeting, which is incredible. Love promptness. <laughs> always early. Yes. I'm also always quite awkwardly early. Um, we have this thing called Deacon Time and it's stuck with me. It's what like is that? Deacon Time was like, we had meetings at, at, Three o'clock, mm-hmm. but deacon time means actually started at two fifty. So it's like military time, so but like deacon you time. You're always, like, I'm always just like programmed to be like ten minutes early. That's great. The wake way, yeah, you know, you, you got to be, you got to be early so you can really prepare ahead to lose to Florida State. Ooh, <laughs> did you go Ouch. to Florida State? No, I Where'd you Syracuse. go? Syracuse. New to Syracuse. Yeah. I talking, just love college football. Wait, you're football. talking shit, and you went to Syracuse? Listen, okay, basketball school. <laughs> Not even anymore. Okay. Not even. But I'm a Maryland fan. I grew up in Baltimore. You're a Maryland fan? Yeah. Jeez, you just so, have terrible teams Turks to fan. It's for. very tough. But uh, she was a Ravens fan as a right. result. She is a Ravens fan. I am. Yeah. And for like less than a minute, you were a Raven. I had you a were. shot of espresso with the Ravens. Yeah. One that's shot wonderful. of espresso? Yeah, that's about as long as my uh, career lasted. That sounds okay. better than a cup of coffee, though. Yeah. So a really fancy Quick and painless. <laughs> cup of coffee. Between you, Colton, and Clay, who's the best football player? Me. Wow. No, probably probably <laughs> Clay. I mean, look, his resume speaks for himself. I've got a lot of heat. And, I'm not giving him credit, so I wanted you to give him and, credit. And, and the guy is, I mean, stacked. The guy yeah. is Have so, you met him? No, no. But um, he's just so, I mean, he's huge. He'd swallow me. Okay. But they can, no one can take me on the court. Um, in basketball. Yeah. But except there's like some guy I saw that was on The Bachelor that can like do crazy dunks. Yeah. He, Chris Sun. Yeah. Right. He was yeah. on Rachel's season, but he's like a professional dunker. That's like his yeah. his job. I think, no offense to him, but I actually have heard he's a really nice guy. But I feel like, Tyler, if you're like, I'm going to become a professional dunker, this is what I do with my time, I feel like you could probably yeah. hold your own. Maybe maybe we'll have a one-on-one game one of these days. That's great content. Yeah. Can we film it? I know Dustin wants to play me a one-on-one. He'll get smoked. Dylan will get smoked. Mike Johnson thinks he could play basketball. Mike Johnson is probably the worst athlete in the house. Really? Yes. Oh as good looking and as strong and big as he is, he might, might be the worst. We, we used to call him stone hands. <laughs> we throw him the ball and it would just be like two bricks trying to catch a ball it would just it does just, he present as a good athlete is he like I'm really good and yeah, he's bad yeah he claims he's great so all talk he, no yeah, walk or exactly. jump shot yeah and, and Mike for sure has no jump shot wow did you guys get to play it I'm was- coming at Mike's neck Mike, so, so there's supposed to be like a basketball game with me and Dylan versus Connor and Mike and everyone yeah. thinks Connor and Mike are. They have like a cumulative size 10 inches advantage. on you guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they could have More. all. They could have all the height they want, but they're both. They're both dweebs. Dylan's like sneaky, can't. not tall. How tall is Dylan? Like 5'10", 5'11"? Dylan. Dylan's because he's a good guy. He's five nine at least. <laughs> 
Okay, so Dylan's 5'7". Dylan's 5'7", which means Hannah's like a Polly Pocket, 4'11". Yeah. Well, she's like really tiny, tiny. Right? very petite. Let's talk about Dylan and Hannah. Well, if you're 5'8", you're a villain, apparently. Right. You know, so, exactly I, I, right. so he's a good guy. So he's like 5'9". Five 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 I, I, to be honest, I forgot about Luke. Last time I interviewed you, it didn't even cross my mind to mm-hmm. ask about him because I, like found, at the time, found it so boring. I just want to say, when everyone was talking about Luke in the first episode where he was like a total dick— that was when we did our first Tyler podcast. Yeah. And we were like, no interest in this guy, Luke. Let's Man. just talk about the star of the show. Tyler, it's when you had your one-on-one. And it was a great when, one-on-one. It was a great one-on-one. Yeah. When, yeah, it looked like a J. Crew ad, basically. Yeah. Very yeah. memorable. <laughs> Very memorable. Very memorable. Making jokes about lobster tail, getting some tail. Getting it some stuck tail, with us. Yeah. Big time griller, gr- big time chiller. Big time chiller. griller, big time chiller, yeah. <laughs> what line do people repeat back to you the most? Um, it might be the big, you know, grilling, chilling. Um... I don't know. I think the cookies and kind of taken mm. over since the then. The cookies thing, really? Yeah, everyone everyone's always sending me stuff about cookies now. Okay, what's the best cookie you've had like full stop any any place? Best cookie I've had. Oh. You're a chocolate chip guy. Chocolate I'm, I'm a chocolate chip guy, big time oatmeal raisin guy though. Oatmeal raisin. Too what about regular oatmeal? Like no raisins. Do you also like that? Or, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got to go to my uncle's bakery in New York. Oh, yeah. You Have should. To. The yeah. best oatmeal cookies and the best chocolate chip cookies oh. in all of New York, New York City. York? I will City say bakery. it on the pod. City Bakery okay. off of Union Square. And he has a couple satellite locations called Bird Bath where you can get yeah. the cookies. Bird Bath is on the great. Upper West Side. Yeah. Okay. You should go. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. You should also go to Billy's. Have you heard of Billy's Bakery? No. Billy's is really good. And um, City Cakes on okay. 18th. Okay. Uh, you but got, I got some places to go. Serious. Well, Mallory used to live in New York, and I did. Uh, I love New York. Um, back to Dylan and Hannah. So you were hanging out with them. How are they doing? Are they, they happy? Are, they are incredible. They won't stop touching each other. Like That's cute. Like, they can't keep their hands off each other. Young love. We're, did you watch them in Paradise? I No, the only episode I ever watched was the last episode with them. Oh, my God. Did you hear about what happened with them? Like, how much somewhat, did people tell you? Somewhat. I heard Dylan was just basically uh, latching on. That's, that's a mild way of putting <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. But no, I, but but me, me and Dylan talked about it before the show. He's like, "That's who I'm there for. Like, that's who I want to be with." And mm-hmm. like, he had his yeah. his mindset on where he wanted to be, who he wanted to be there with. And you made that clear. Yeah, and he yeah. made it clear. And <laughs> and persistence is key. Oh my god. And Hannah and Hannah's incredible. Is she? She? I feel like she has not gotten her fair due. I really want to interview them. I asked their publicist. Yeah, she like like when I when I was when I met her for the first time, like hung out there for those couple of days. Like I was completely blown away by her. Like she seems like she's fun and funny. She's so much fun. And, and for some reason, they never show that. They only and make it seem like she's like a doll caught in the love triangle. Well, but, uh, I think it goes for like Dylan on the Bachelorette. Like he was very quiet on the show. Mm-hmm. They didn't get. They, he didn't. You know. They didn't. We didn't hear his voice much. And then we had Hannah G, which I didn't really watch her season at all, but she's seemed like to be very quiet and timid kind of yes yeah. and, and extremely sexual those are like the things we knew about her it was like until Hannah B season like the most sexual moment ever on The Bachelor was between Colton and Hannah G really what yes. happened they were in Thailand and they had like a quote unquote spa date did you have a spa date mm. with Hannah no we did have a spa date yeah the yeah. massage oh table God, come on how can I forget I forgot I'll you. never forget <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, until I had a beast season, um, until you arrived with the massage moves, they were just like really, it was basically dry humping on a mm-hmm. massage table I in Thailand. I never found, I, I know you're you're on the record, this is a well-established issue, but I never found it, their energy like very palpably sexual. I think it was me just either. because it, seemed it was like on porn, the Col- Colton that virgin reason. scale. Yes, on the Colton virgin scale, it was really like erotic. You know, it was but it, it seemed like, like animal scripted, kingdom like, am I too, about it. Am I too defensive of a friend when I, I already hate hearing about Hannah like past with other guys? No, that's nice. I'm like, no, it's Dylan's got girl now, you know? <laughs> I totally forgot I about it. your spa date. Was that awkward to watch? It was definitely awkward for me to no, watch. No, it, was, it wasn't awkward to watch. It was... Uh, You're like, good moves by me? Good uh, job? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> so, like, you know, when you're a podcast host, right? Yeah. You, you have to listen back to your own tape. You got to study. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, you got to take notes. You know, what are my verbal tics? When am I going too long? When am I not diving deep enough? How can I adjust? How can I improve? It's just like watching film, right? Yeah, like exactly. Football. So, so now, as as you think about the rest of your romantic endeavors, are you like studying, crunching your bachelor tape to say, you know, good, where good do I need to get better? Right where am I excelling? <laughs> You know, there's uh, there's definitely was some. Was I early off the line here? There's definitely, <laughs> there's definitely some one-liners that I will take out of my repertoire because like I was so corny. I don't know, just like you look dangerous and black, or you stand no, by that one. I, I stand love by it. that one. I stand <laughs> I by that it. one all day. Juliet, right now, you look. Dangerous you look dangerous and black, and black Juliet. Thanks, guys. Very. 
Um, no, nah, stand by that one. That okay. one, that one's great. Uh, oh, but God. there's just some things where I'd say something, and I'm just like, oh my, I like hide under my shirt, and I'm like cringing. I'm like, I can't believe I just said that. I'm trying to think of what I think was your worst moment, your lowest moment. They were all perfect. Throwing up on a horse. Oh, uh, you just seem mad on that date. That date, that date sucked. I don't really care about that one. Let's go back to the spa date. What country was that in? Actually, I have, a, I have a question about that one. That yeah. date. You've probably been asked the horse a million date? times. Yeah, well, specifically because that was like the, the like fish, yeah. right? What's the time that you guys get in between consuming some sort of raw fish? Very pungent food stuff before the inevitable makeout Make scene. Out. Brushing so, your teeth, gum, mouthwash. Luckily, luckily, I got to, I did that fish thing. I knew I was going to throw up right away because I had the weakest <laughs> stomach and threw that up. And Did they show that now? Yeah, they showed me spitting it out. Oh, but and it wasn't like a full on vomit. No, okay. no. But um, <laughs> but shortly after that, we got to go like twenty yards down the road, and get strawberry ice cream, which helped with mm, that love taste. strawberry ice cream. Yeah. Wonderful. So the strawberry ice cream was like my Altoid. Okay. Yeah. There's a great strawberry ice cream in LA right now. Ooh. Where Jenny's? Jenny's. Yeah, oh. the strawberry buttermilk. You got to get it. Ooh, that sounds it's dangerous. Fucking great. That is good. Not as dangerous as a woman in black, though. Not as dangerous as a woman in black. <laughs> Not as dangerous as Juliet to the right of me right now. Oh in my all god, black. Tyler, stop. <laughs> um, I, you've really thrown me off my game. Okay, back to Greece. What was awkward for your family to watch? And then also, well, I'm sure, like, I'm sure, like those talk. scenes were awkward. You know, like, sure. like you know, me on top of Hannah making out with her. You know, I was probably. You know, my dad was watching that. You know, my mom were watching that. Like, I, I never. Did either of them like comment on it to you? I never kiss a girl in front of my dad. Like, mm. I never do that. You know, because sure. like my dad, growing up, always my dad was always. You know, you don't need no girls, no girls, football, football, football. Mm. And like, mm. I was like in high school, I had to have my door open. You know, I couldn't have girls in my room. I sure couldn't. Parents. Ha- I couldn't have wow. a girlfriend basically. But my how'd little. You, how'd you work around that? I just leave the house, mm. but <laughs> sneak out or just like go out the front door. Uh, go out the front door. I snuck out like my junior year, but then they just they they trusted that I wasn't going to screw screw up, you know. So. Did you? No, I was a good kid. I behaved until college. <laughs> until college, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I don't even know where I was going with that. But yeah, until college, I became a little little bit of a menace. Um, ben Higgins is a legend around here around these parts because. Uh, he really explained to us how he would hide all of his erections on the show. <laughs> oh, and yes. And he, yeah. yeah, it was just. Well, my pants were so tight, they just held everything down. That was, <laughs> that was always my theory. That was our question. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, how There's always so much it? room in those pants. The first time it happens on camera, like, what do you do and how awkward so, is it? So there was, there was times, like, in Scotland, like, things got pretty heavy between me and Hannah. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. And, uh. I think she was wearing the white dress that time. She was, she was wearing. The Long way, yeah. Let's carry on. No. She, I don't think she was. Oh, okay. That was the rose ceremony. She oh. wore the white dress. Amazing dress. <laughs> um, But Scott and we were in the castle, and we were... This was when you were in a kilt? Hooking up on a bed in a kilt. And oh, right. The kilt. Good move. I was move. able to keep everything under control there. With the kilts, no uh, less. Which I was, I was like, I was proud of myself. <laughs> you know? Um, but, we were proud of you, too. <laughs> Then we were in like Latvia, and I had those tight, tight, way too small of pants on, mm-hmm. which we're, we're familiar. Yeah. Yeah. And also now know that you purposely bought them too small. But okay, yeah, yeah, carry on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I was like, I, we were like, hook, like we were making out, and uh, the they like they're like, all right, guys, like we have to go, like we have to go. I was like, <laughs> no, you know, <laughs> and, not yet. <laughs> And then finally, like they pulled us off, and, like made us go. And I was like, I was like, well, now I have a boner, and all of America is gonna see it. And she's like, do I need to go in front of you? I was like, no, I'm just gonna show it off. Oh my god! And, <laughs> they but- didn't release the footage. <laughs> yeah, release the tape. So I did not make it on air because yeah. Ben famously, we discussed this with him, so it's like very much on record. It's mm-hmm. you can watch it on Hulu. He and his main one of the main publicity photos for his season, he has a full on erection. Making, really? making out with JoJo under a waterfall. Yeah. yeah it's wow. kind of it's kind of crazy. And I never noticed actually. Way until, to go, Ben. Until he pointed it out. It is like kind of like, wow. And that's not even the main talking point on his season. That's you know, a, merely a footnote that I bring up all the time now. It's just biology, folks. Juliet, I wanna commend you yes. on your commitment to important investigative journalism. Mm-hmm. Well, last time, asking these questions. Last time I interviewed you, I was a little too easy. I think I didn't ask some of these really hard hitting yeah, questions. Yeah, I was very you know? hard hitting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. 
God. Yeah. Uh, we really wondered about that a lot. So thank you so much for uh, of course. explaining it to us. <laughs> um, how has it been just being around New York City? Like, what is the hardest thing now that you have over 2 million Instagram followers? Um, I love being in New York City. It's a lot of fun. We get it. You love your life. So just much be energy. About it. But no, like, there's things that, you know, like, it's, I don't like taking phone calls on the streets no more just because, like, you don't know who you're talking Never to. Never know. Yeah. Like, um, I mean, I just because, like, the other day, like, I was, like, with Matt, and we were talking, and, and like, there's photos of us taken, and I'm, like, well, I was, like, who, like anyone could be listening to our conversations. You don't know right. who's who, and, like, there's times where I'll be walking, and, like, a person's film, like, a, you know, on their phone, like, filming me as I walk by. I'm, like, well, hopefully I didn't say anything stupid then, you know, yeah. or important then, so. Does it make you want to go out of the house less? No. I mean, the apartment that I'm in right now. I don't ever want to be in there. So <laughs> Matt's apartment. Too small? It's way too small. It's it's probably a quarter of this room that we're in here right no now. No way. Yes. Like it's it's the width New of York. a it's Nothing the width like of it. a queen size bed and probably this length right here. Oh my God. And like your room, you mean? Yeah. And okay. so like Matt's bed's lofted. Oh god. And then my You're underneath? my futons underneath. So we oh basically my god. Are like it's your bunk Tweedle beds. D and Tweedle Dunn. Exactly. Oh and my like god. and like That's I came how... to New York with one bag and now and like I've gotten I've accumulated a lot more clothes since. And like we just can't free stuff? Yeah. And we can't fit anything anywhere. So there's a picture. I got to find it. And it's me laying on like on the bottom futon. And there's just clothes all over the place. Because we have nowhere to put anything. We have no closet, no drawers, no oh nothing. Oh, my God. You guys got to move. So, no, we move We move into our new place next week. Nice. Yeah, so. Don't say where. Don't give the paparazzi nope. any leads. I'm moving into uh, Buffalo. I was going to say Hoboken. Buff- yeah, Hoboken. Josh Jer- Allen. Jersey, Jersey City. City. Long Island Jinx. City, yeah. Nice. Long Island City, too. And too, it's easier to get to Jersey City than it is to Long Island City. Yeah, I just did the Jersey City trek the other day. It's it's beautiful out there. Jersey City blew me away. It is really nice. It's nice. Yeah. It's also like post 9 11, a lot of stuff moved there. So it has like a lot more to offer than perhaps really? it would have. Sorry, I had to go dark. I'm obsessed with 9 11. Um, Interesting. <laughs> incredible thing to say out loud. Sorry. <laughs> not the first time I've said it on a podcast. I'm from New York. Are you like a conspiracy theorist? Um, not on that, but on some other national ask, affairs. Ask Juliet her, for her thoughts on Zero Dark Thirty one of these days. Not now. I, probably not on this podcast. <laughs> all right. We'll say this. <laughs> Happy for, to share it we'll offline. This, we'll, we'll say this off the record. <laughs> um, uh, oh, God. So you're really into the cookie stuff. Are you, are you following the NFL season? I don't know why uh, I mentioned a little the bit, again. A little bit. You know, I'm working with Yahoo Sports now and doing some stuff. You're so good at plugging your things. Yeah. You're getting, like, really the media very natural. Organic integration right there. Yeah. Pro yeah, already. Exactly. I can't um, believe it. Uh, make sure you guys watch the Rewatchables, too. Big fan. <laughs> 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 but, uh, no, um, you know, so I, I definitely got to stay tuned in with football. And okay. I, you know, I'm following my friends and seeing what they're doing and, okay. and whatnot. And I got a fantasy football team right now. I'm Who's playing, on your team? Uh, I got two teams. There's a lot of people. Auction draft, snake draft. How snake. many people in the league? Uh, ten and ten. Well, come on. One of them is a bachelor draft. Bachelor yeah, they're both league. bachelor. So one's like bachelor from my season, mm-hmm. and then one's like, uh, like Colton, uh, ben, Jason, Nick. Ben, Nick, all that whole crew. Standard roster, two QB. Matt James is in that. Uh, group people well. noticed that a lot of people messaged me on Instagram Infiltrated to, Bachelor to alert me that you had like got him in. Yeah, he's in there. I think one of my favorite like subplots of 2019 is just the the social media influencer Matt James. I don't know him. I feel like I do. I feel like people just talk about him a lot yeah. in relation to Matt's, you. Matt basically was on the season. I mean, he's got he's <laughs> gained a bigger following. Than he's like fifty thousand now, right? I check in every once in a while. He's got to see what? what he has. Just like uh, how much does he have? Like fifty thousand. I think. Damn, I'm Matt. gonna look right now. Live live look in at Matt James's Instagram. <laughs> What's dating like for Matt? Like as your as your uh, who's Jim Carrey and who's Greg Daniels in this Dumb and Dumber equation? <laughs> um, what were their names on the show? I think I think I'm more of the Jim Carrey. Okay. Yeah. Um, and he's more of whatever the other guy's name is. What's his name? Greg Daniels. Greg is Daniels. Greg Daniels. Jeff, uh, Jeff Daniels. Matt, Matt's, Excuse Matt's me. Very... Is Greg Daniels a sports person? <laughs> yeah, Jeff Daniels. Whatever. He's only in like. You know, so many important movies, but carry on. Matt's very particular in how he dates. Um, so, I, I mean, I've only met one girl he's ever dated before. Who has more game, you or Matt? Me, for sure. Okay, he's 48.1 thousand Matt, Matt used there. the pickup line saying he, someone has nice pants, so I'm definitely going with me on this one. Is that like a reference to Anchorman? Isn't that like a, the fans party? I don't know. I've never, I don't think I've You haven't seen never Anchorman? Anchorman? No. Oh, it's fabulous. Oh, come love on. It. I love Tyler. it. Tyler. Yeah. We're going to give you some homework. Okay. Anchorman, have you seen Old School? I did see Old School. Old School was good. But you're not like, wow, great movie. No. What about, are you seem like a Step Brothers type of guy? Step Brothers was good. Step Brothers What's was good. What's your favorite comedy? Oh, 
I don't know. I'm not really good at this. I, I suck with. I like watch movies one time. Like, all right, that was cool, and that's it. Wow. The only movie I've seen to be enthusiastic about is Hitch, which is a great movie. I love Hitch. Hitch is a great Hitch movie. Hitch is my movie. I do love Will Smith and Eva Mendez and oh, Kevin James. Eva Mendez is she's absolutely stunning in that movie. Yeah, and she's now married to Ryan Gosling. I mean, it's like uh, probably it's the most bad. attractive couple out there. I know. They kill it. They and they're really it. quiet, too, which I really appreciate. Like, mm-hmm. they don't engage with paparazzi. They're, like, not out in the world. No idea what their daughters look like. Like, mm-hmm. they just seem like a chill. They're like Tyler couple. and Matt, just trying to enjoy their <laughs> exactly. life. They don't want to be bothered on the street. They just want to go back to their bunk Beds the Adventures of Myler, you know. Think about their lives. We have our bunk beds. We have our our pillow talks and our, our cookie talks. Who's, whose house will you be going to for uh, Christmas? His or yours? You know, <laughs> you split Thanksgiving in one so place, Christmas in another. Our relationship is you know progressing. You know, I just went to his mom's house. <laughs> really? Met, wow. met the mother. Where's he from? Uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, ah. cool. Research Triangle. Yeah. So he's already he's already met my parents. So wow. Okay. Things are now we're moving in together in, in New York. Next up into is a new apartment. So, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's it's wow. really blossoming relationship. One day you'll bring a cross country, relocate to LA together, where uh, you can have actual space. Yeah, you know, yeah. work at the ringer. Work at the ringer. That's Me and right. Matt become full time employees. That'd be wonderful. Um, the next step is for you guys to introduce your parents to each other, like mm-hmm. some kind of summit. Yeah, maybe yeah. like in South Carolina, halfway between, or Georgia. No, I would just go to Florida. Florida is more fun. Okay, is it? Florida's the best. Come on. Come on. Who do you, what you, do you think You wouldn't want to go on the boat with me in Florida? I'm, I'd be happy to. Come on. <laughs> She's not joking. <laughs> when, I'd be happy should to. Should we take the Ringer podcast Let's to, uh, yes. to yeah. boating? We can podcast Jupiter? from anywhere, man. When's, yeah, we certainly can. We just can. do a podcast at the sandbar. Great. Can I also. would love that. What's yeah. the next um, lobster coronas season? And, look, Coronas and, and Ringer. Fantastic. Perfect. Coronas. Give them a sponsor. Let's get some sort of local like micro brew. Really Ooh, tap into the local the, flavor. The, you know? uh, the, what, the local what, culture centers around. What's a good around. Florida brewery? The good local one. That one hits is, uh, why am I drawing a blank on it? I, I got to go back to my Are hometown. Are you a beer guy to or a brewery. liquor guy? Uh, Whiskey man? I love beer. Okay. I can drink beer all the time, but it's not True the jock. best for me. But uh, but I basically, I've been on the gin and tonic game lately. Nice. Yeah. What kind of gin? Hendrix. Hmm. Hmm. Classy. Yeah. Okay. So you're just like out in New York. That's what you go with? Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like you get more longevity, like, you know, staying out late? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, tequila just whoops my ass, and I see what I usually drink before. And but vodka only. you vodka white, only. And white wine. Yeah, I'm just clear. I drink clear, so vodka, tequila, gin. I'm on the gin grind lately, okay. and, but I love some red wine. Okay. What, yeah. kind, what kind of red wine? Are cab you a cab or man? Pinot Noir. Okay. Yeah. I like a nice Pinot Noir. I love a yeah. cab. I love a nice cab. You're not a Malbec man? Uh, I, yeah. I can drink it. I think that's a starter wine. <gasps> I agree. That's and that, why I asked. Yeah. And then, <laughs> so Tyler passed your test. <laughs> exactly. We're moving on to Great day work. number two. Oh my Great goodness. Um, so what's next for you, Tyler? You did a lot of press this week. How did that go? It was it was good. You know, it was my you know first time really being able to speak in a while. Did anyone mm-hmm. else ask you about erections? No one asked me about erections, but you. <laughs> yes. So, okay. I like to differentiate myself. Doing important work. I'm glad here. I'm sharing my erections with everybody. <laughs> Well, the point is you did it, and that's, that's right. why we had so yeah, many questions. Exactly. That's the great American tragedy. There oh. were there were a few moments we were like, oh, he stayed in the, he like pulls Hannah on top of him so that we don't see it, or like oh. the one specifically that we, I mean, we went like frame. Which by one frame did y'all here. think was the car? The car, the car. At, at your parents' oh, house. Yeah, no doubt. That was. We were just like the way it was the you way got you out of the car, did yourself yeah. in the car because you were like flat on the seat. Well, yeah, you come out of the car <laughs> there, slid out backwards. <laughs> It's like, clearly. You get out of the car and there's cameras there and you're like, I probably don't need to show the whole world what's going on. Counterpoint. Yeah. Would have enjoyed it. What if you had? (laughs) Yeah, you know, could have. Could have been interesting. I don't know if Disney or ABC would have let that one uh, I don't. Well, given the Ben situation, they may have. Also, it's yeah, just but, biology. But, but, but you guys didn't even notice it. I mean, they might have just let I it. Know, kind of a they tough beat for it. Ben, honestly, that everyone's like, oh, we didn't notice. But yeah. like That's rough. But then when you do notice, you're like, holy shit, how did this become the publicity photo? When <laughs> I he think because it's have a you ever, bathing suit. Have you ever seen like two guys defense. in the combine or like pro days who like oh, are running yeah. their pro days? And, oh, like, yeah. Remember when Chris, comes out? Chris Jones? Yeah. There was the one of the funniest ones. Running his 40? That was incredible. One of the funniest ones is my buddy was at Western Kentucky playing and the quarterback was running and and there's a picture like on the on mm-hmm. the Western Kentucky website and his dick is out. Oh my god. And cut from running <laughs> from running the 40 and like he ran a really bad time. He's like I need to run that again. They're like why is like my dick came out. Like I was not running. Like I was not I was distracted. Yeah. 
And so he got to do it again. But does it, did his time improve? His time yeah. improved. The Chris yeah. Jones one is my favorite because you know he was like an elite prospect. He had been an elite recruit. Was an elite prospect. He was clearly going to be drafted like pretty highly no matter how he did. But you still want to have a good combine oh, yeah. right? in the measurables in the NFL. And he could he could feel that it had flopped out. Uh, and, so he, and, and he, he fell fell forward to hide it and like compromise his time. <laughs> yeah. It's an amazing thing. I can't imagine being a young man. Sounds, He's having a great NFL career. Sounds yeah. very hard. The, the the falling though, like when I saw him fall, I know, like, I was like it oh, scared me. Artificial turf. I was like, I was like, I was like, I you're going to get burned the down there. Burn. You know? I thought that too. I know. I was worried. I was worried. Because that, that, that one's a hard one to recover from. That's very rough. Yeah. We know very what kind of commentary we need from this year's combine, I guess. I Dick mean, watch. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Dick watch with the ringer. Well, the three of us? Let's just <laughs> reconvene. I'll host. For that. You, you guys have the expertise. Sounds wonderful. Maybe I'll learn about football specifically to be able to do that. I know a little bit. I listen to the ringer podcast network. You, you follow football. Yeah. What pro team are you most invested in this year? Uh, football wise, yeah. uh, I I love watching the Chiefs. They're just Mahomes. They're, yeah, Mahomes is incredible. He's fun to watch. The stuff he's doing is just is never. I've never seen anyone like it. You know, his arm is so alive. So I, I have it's fun the baseball watching. training. And like he doesn't even have his big weapons. And he's getting the Sammy a, Sammy Watkins. Sammy Wa- he, right he now. got Sammy Watkins playing ball now. I know. And, and I was a guy who was just never. He could just be can, what he was in college. He you just know? couldn't stay healthy, though. Like, yeah. all the foot injuries. Now that he's healthy, he's incredible. Exactly. Mahomes, yeah. this weekend, are you going to watch on Sunday? His first game in the pros in a, in dome. a dome. Like, really? I, yeah, he's good. I mean, the, the Lions have been playing good defense, he's actually. Rip Their secondary has been good, but that's going to be, that is the chance to be incredible. Yeah. I wonder if he can get to 60 touchdowns. Do you, how many does he have right now? He's on a similar pace to last year. Last year, he, he got to 50. He'd have to really pick it up to threaten 60. That would be like, more Almost dome impossible, games, possible, but what's the most? I if what's he the could. most? Fifty nine. What a Brady. The Brady. The Brady, Brady year was Brady the most. Moss. Yeah. Where do you stand on Tom Brady? You're you're a big LeBron guy, so I feel like there's a chance that you're really into Tom Brady yeah, as well. I have a crush on Tom Brady. Yeah. Are you more of a Brady or a Rogers man? Brady. Interesting. We did take a picture of you with this Aaron yeah. Rodgers cutout, though. Yeah. We, we'll, Who? We'll he looks like a, he looks now. like an actor there. Um. I think he looks slightly Clooney esque in this no, cutout. No, that's have. not what I'm thinking of. Mm, okay. Uh, who's the Just actor? Nice. Who's I, I'm not going to think of Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal? Oh, I see it. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. I do a little bit. A little Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, right there. maybe in the Mysterio mold when he's got yeah. the beard in the Spider-Man movie. Swayze's looking like a million bucks right there. Always does. Love. Yeah. Always love does. Just, he's great. I have an FAU question for you. Bring it on. So you miss Lane Kiffin by a year. I know. Is that one of your great regrets in life? So, <laughs> just seems like the plan, chance to play for Lane Kiffin would be like so an all time life altering. I haven't had a winning football season since seventh grade. <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> right? Could the problem be you? I, I might be the problem because <laughs> listen, because listen, for the first time, what, I'm glad you didn't make the Ravens. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it looks like I wasn't the only problem there, but uh, true. I left Wake Forest, graduated, left next year, they go win a bowl game. I'm mm-hmm. like, are you kidding me? And then I go to FAU. We go three and nine, three and nine, graduate, leave, and then the next year they go eleven and three, win a bowl game, win a conference championship under Lane Kiffin. I'm like, I just keep missing all the good years by one year. That's yeah. rough, man. So like now my little brother is a freshman at FAU, and he's gonna go get a bowl ring. Yeah. You know, like he's gonna win a, and, and like my other brother, he went to Dwyer High School, which is like the rival high school of Jupiter High School, and he won a state championship. And I just got beat up for. Oh man, nothing seven like winning years. state. Yeah. That's real. That, if like Friday Night Lights tickles anybody, Florida. yeah. <laughs> Are you a big Friday Night Lights fan? Of course. Okay. Of course. You're more of an East Dylan or a Dylan guy? I don't know what that. Are you, are you talking no. about the movie? No. Or the show? The show. Oh, I haven't watched the show. Oh. I watched the movie. What? Tyler, you, you watch would it. love you it. Watch it. Yeah, you yeah. love it. Oh, my God. I heard good things. Like also, it's really emotional. Like, if you like This Is Us and you like football, then Friday Night Lights is your ideal TV okay. show. Okay. It's, it's and, obviously a football show, but it's really about community. And love yeah. and family. It's also, beautiful. Connie Britton, who is the coach's wife on it, she's just gorgeous. She's got like she's just like hair spun of pure gold. She's the wow. most. She is like that's, defines the term milf in my that's, opinion. That would if I could do anything in the world, it'd be a high school football coach. You have to watch this show. Yeah. You would love it. Yeah. It's Can you like so also good. like text us your thoughts as you're watching it because I, I feel like you'll be really into he's it. He's really like uh, in terms of vibe. Yeah. And. Other things, really a mashup of Coach Taylor and Riggins. And it's you, not a pure Riggins and, thing. It's a it's yes. a mashup. I think uh, it's also literally the nicest he's thing I could ever say to a this person. Right now. He's the creator of the <laughs> Dylan, who's sitting in the room with us, made the <laughs> Tyler uh, Friday Night Lights mashup video. I almost brought a tear to my eye. That was beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, Great that, work, Dylan. 
also Dylan making that and then you liking it emboldened me to DM you for the first time. That so was a great thank, day at the ringer. Thanks to Dylan for <laughs> giving me the confidence to do so and then allowing this wonderful podcast where I've asked really inappropriate questions to happen. So it all started with this guy. It all started with Dylan. That's a, and the Dylan Panthers. Did, it, did was Gallagher the first one who made the ring the the Riggins comp or was that was that a Dylan original? Yeah, I want to give Jason Gallagher Jason. his shine here because he will. He played it cool when he came in the room earlier. He was like, "Hey, what's up, man?" But he Makes loves sense. you. Really? <laughs> he was one of the first. Like that Tyler guy. He's got charisma. Five okay. minutes into the first episode, he was texting. He's like, "This guy." It just can't be understated. It can't be overstated how much no one here cared about Luke like at all, <laughs> and it was just about like who's this football player from Florida? Yeah. We, I, saw, we saw your potential very early on. I appreciate it. Yes. As, <laughs> as my dance videos, I guess it won you over? No. No? I think, okay. it, I think <laughs> not for me at least. I think it was, I was partial to that. Well, I didn't even say anything when I came out of the car. I was, uh, uh, what was hilarious was David Spade. It was like, is this guy stoned? Like, did you ever see his like uh, recap videos? <laughs> no. Oh, uh, he had these like funny stories. David oh, and you Spade. check it out. And uh, I came out of the limo. Like, I couldn't even open my eyes. I was just like scared and like shell shocked and mm -hmm. like freaking out. Like, I forgot what I was saying to him. I was just like blabbering my mouth. I was like, Oh wait, I'm supposed to be saying something to her right now. But how many edibles had you had? Zero. <laughs> but you would think. Um I think when I get scared and nervous, like I kind of come into a shell. Sure. And I was in like a the deep dark shell at that point. Like, I wouldn't I didn't even go talk to her that night. Right. What's the most drunk you were on the show? Scotland. So I mean, when in Scotland, oh, yeah. come on. When in Scotland, when wearing so a So you kilt. said you're a, you're a clear liquor guy, but were you drinking like fine so, single so, malt? No. Scotch? White wine. Oh, my God. So, in Scotland? So white wine was like the best way to like get buzzed. Okay. Mm. And it was like sugary, so it was kind of like, you know, give you some energy. And uh, so we all crush white wine. Two, what, two per hour or they give you more than that? Two per hour. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. And That's, uh, the, that's, that's the rule. The role. Yeah. We would all crush white wine and... I remember we were like we were having a big talk with everybody and someone said something, I kinda reiterated it, but said it in a really dumb way. I forgot what I said. It was it was stupid. And I was like, shit, I am drunk. <laughs> and then and everyone starts like making fun of me for like just talking like because I can't even make sense anymore. And then all of a sudden water comes out for me and, and Dylan says something stupid, and then water comes out for Dylan. Oh my god, that's <laughs> wow. really funny. So yeah. they can they try to like Keep you composed. They, they, they take care of us. I'm glad to hear that. They actually, take care of that's us. good. That's they're, they're making you know they want they want us to to be safe and that's important. Did anyone smuggle in Adderall? No, no. What a question. I just think that seems. Question. I just think that seems like a move. Like, I don't know. Also, I that's know like, that's like the worst place I would ever want to take Adderall. It just seems like if anything that you could smuggle in, that would be easy because it looks like other pills. It's prescribed. So you'd be like you need it. I don't know. Just seems it's yeah. also like that's like the study drug, you know. And I feel like this is a show where they make you stay up. A long, like many hours in a row and mm -hmm. stuff. I don't know. It's just always something I wanted to know. I, I would be way too in. The, I'd be over. I'd be like way too analytic with my conversation. I think if I was on Adderall, I could like talk for hours when I'm on Adderall. I, interesting. Sounds, <laughs> sounds great. Maybe, yeah. maybe if I do a podcast, I'll just <laughs> do a great. bunch of Adderall next, before. Next time, we'll find a way to get you in like a mar marathon, not running, but like marathon podcasting vibe or something like that. There we that. go. <laughs> um, Anything I forgot to ask, Mel? I'm trying to think of what our other passion points were. The main, we, ad we addressed it. Wait, I, I got one. What? What are you reading these days? Juliet and I were I delighted readings? by your Instagram stories about your literary endeavors. Yeah. Um, and any I bought, I bought Where the Crawdad Sing. Mm. I just haven't had time to sit down and read it. I heard really good things about that book. Reese so, Witherspoon pick. Yeah. Um, so I, it's, I've had it for about a month and haven't gotten far in it at all. What do you do on flights? Do you sleep or read or what? I sleep. Mm -hmm. oh, and, or, or like, I'm also like, like an idiot because like, I'm like bopping around my, like my seat and like, and I'm listening to music and I don't know. I, I, I watch movies, but those always put me to sleep. I'm like okay. the worst movie watcher. It takes me like four nights to watch one movie. I can tell. You should probably get into like sitcoms. Have you watched The Good Place? Maybe you should watch that. Good Place is you know, great. Is, is The Ranch considered a sitcom? Yeah, absolutely. I enjoyed The Ranch. Okay. It was like stupid, dry cool. humor. It was about a washed up quarterback. Nice. And just fit. I just like loved it. because uh, I'm, I'm Never had a winning record since seventh grade? Exactly. He was just basically, you know, washed up and I was washed up. So we, we related on a lot of things. What are your other favorite shows? <laughs> um, So... Favorite shows are two different ends of the spectrum. Power, mm -hmm. which is on stars, is like a New York drug dealing movie. Mm -hmm. um, and then on the other end is This Is Us, which is like the most like family, like, gut, you know, like tear jerking on, on This Is Us. Um, I would do Jack. almost anything for Randall. Almost anything. I love Jack. Okay. Like Jack's like dad. He's great. Goals. Yeah. Like, he's great. If 
I could be if I could be half the man Jack is, I'd be a great dad. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Randall's a good dad too. No, Randall's incredible too. I love Randall. I, I think he's. Uh, I, I just he has a great dynamic. I'm like a season behind too right now. Okay. But, no spoilers then. Uh, he has the a great dynamic. What is what is the daughter they adopted? Uh, I can't remember her name. I don't know any. I don't I've know. Never Rand- seen a second. But, of but, but I don't know Randall's daughter. I just like names. love how, how the effort he puts in, and, and it just shows like the whole dynamic of him trying to build that relationship, and it's very difficult because she has a hard time trusting. Yeah. Him. I don't know, just, it's a beautiful show. It is a beautiful show. It's very sweet. I love Mandy Moore. I'm very moved there's, yeah. there's many Man, things to love about it. See, Mandy Moore, like, 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 there's times in that show where I'm, like, pissed at her. I'm like, she's bad mom, you know what I mean? I know, but, and also she remarries. It's just devastating. Yeah, but I Like, just, how do you move on from Jack? Exactly. Jack's the best. But I think I was having this conversation with someone the other day who they were, they, they were best friends. Mm-hmm. And uh, one, one of the husbands died. They, they kind of rekindled with the best friends and, like, Got, but like it's like because like the spirit lives on between them, you know. Yeah. So that's beautiful poetry. That's the Tyler that we came to love on the Bachelorette. <laughs> Brings out that poetry right, right when you need it. He's a big time griller and a big time chiller, chiller and a poet. Soul stirring life insight. I'm touched. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tyler, thank you as always for putting up with me and for Mallory. Of course, anything for you girls. Please say hi to your mom for us. Please. I will, mom. Hello. They say hello. <laughs> Uh, and we'll be back with Bachelor Party. Who knows who else is we to come? Will, we will be taking the Bachelor Party to Jupiter Sandbar soon. I can't. I I love a swim up bar, Cannot like a wait. beach bar. I mean, beach is my vibe. That's where I, that's where I thrive the most. You love the ocean. I love swimming in the ocean, like okay. literally more than anything well, else in the world. The my favorite thing gonna, about we're gonna have a field trip. I'll see you there. I All love right. Florida because of the Wizarding World. So count me in. Okay, great. <laughs> the Wizarding World of Harry yeah, Potter. Harry Potter. Uh, I have see you ever it. been? Uh. Uh-uh. Oh, you're talking about at Disney? Yeah. Well, at Orlando. 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 I think I've been. That's the the crazy buildings and all that. See, I'm like, I used to be like scared of roller coasters, so I never, I never really went. Did you ever have butterbeer? Yeah, I think I've had the butterbeer. It's not that good. Delicious. (laughs) Not that good. Different opinion. (laughs) Uh, Thanks again for listening, and thank you to Tyler. We will be back soon. 